Hi, I'm Angela B. Shelton. And I'm her very best friend, Frances Callier, and we are Frangela. And welcome to another episode of Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week. We hit this dumb. We call them dumb. We decide who's the dumbest. Yes, we do. I want to thank you so much for sending us all your wonderful stories. Choice. Choice dumb. Choice dumb on Facebook and Twitter at Frangela Duo and right. over at our, our emails at uh, Frangela.com. It's, it, it's, you know, hey. And uh, it's, you're doing a great job. Keep it up and we might expose all the dumb. Yes. One day soon. Our first story uh, today comes from Captain Greg O. Thank mm-hmm. you, Greg. Uh, I don't even know how to, to do start, you, I, Okay. Bill I, Nye, who I love. Bill, Bill Nye, Nye the, the science, science guy. guy. That's sweet. Yes. Bill the science guy. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't like Bill Nye? Who doesn't I can tell you who don't like Bill Nye. People in Texas. And the stupid. Yes. The stupid don't like Bill Nye. Bill Nye was booed in Texas for saying that the moon reflects the sun. Now let me tell you something, Angela. I have, I have y'all. It you reflects don't like light. Yes. I have, I have a six-year-old who at five understood and knew that the moon was a dead it doesn't. It doesn't. It has no atmosphere. Yes. It doesn't emit light. No. They don't. They don't even have like Hollywood premieres. No. On, no. They don't even have flashlights. You know what I'm saying? It does. No light comes off the moon. So it, all it, the light you see that we call the moon, it's reflected light off of the moon. So he's he's doing his little Bill Nye the Science Guy yeah. thing in yeah. Waco, Texas. Which hello, starting to be on the Justice Department side on that one. Mm. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> I have been to Waco, Texas, and I, I can see he, he had this problem there. So he's doing this presentation when he suggested that suggested that suggested. the moon does not emit light, but instead reflects the light of the sun, as most children know. Okay. People in the audience started to storm out in a fury. One woman yelled, we believe in God, and left with three children, thus ensuring that they will be in the stupid stack soon. Yes. Yes. Um... I don't understand what what's going on with religion and, and in this country, and I know it's everywhere. But we've seemed to be eerily back at this this weird kind of like dark ages? dark ages place yeah. where like you can't even say that the moon reflects light without it being a complete assault against your entire faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what I love so much also in this story that the newspaper had printed the story and then put it online, but they retracted the story because they didn't want people to know how Well, I'm sure they were getting comments. Yes. It's like, you're stupid. Waco is stupid. Yeah. Texas is stupid. Mm-hmm. And actually, Texas isn't even in the top 10, I no. think, on stupid people. No. But clearly, Waco is a hub. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why they had Bill Nye the Science Guy in the first place. Did right. they not know that he was going to talk about science? science? He put it in his name. I mean, oh why would you bring somebody? Bring, I'm sure there's some there's some flat earth motherfuckers out here who you can get to come speak at your night and be like and be like the moon is so bright because the light on the inside where the cheese comes gets made and God made the cheese and the, and the, and the you can cheese believe blows. you can believe in God and not be stupid. <laughs> I mean, there's, these two don't, things don't equal each other. I mean, please, you knew that you, don't bring anybody with the science guy in their name. No, because you're always gonna have this problem. Idiots. Next up, this is from Rep, uh, Admiral Robert M. Mm-hmm. California, which is actually running second right yeah. now, but a far second to Florida. Yes. <laughs> For dumb. Parents sue, parents sue school district over cheating policy. Parents of a Northern California high school student sophomore are suing the school district for kicking the teenager out of an honors class because he cheated. He did cheat. He cheated. Okay. This, is right. my, this is my, I am really angry. Yeah, I know. When he started the classes at uh, the Sequoia. Hi, Sequoia High School in Redwood City, the boy signed an academic uh, honesty pledge warning him that cheating is grounds for immediate removal from the advanced level English class. So when he got tossed for copying another student's homework, um, his father and uh, mother, or the wife, his it may be his stepmother is the way it's written, it's hard to tell, um, sued the school district claiming that their son's due process rights were violated. They say the policies regarding ch- punishment for cheating were vague and contradictory and shouldn't be enforced. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is vague about if you cheat, you get thrown out. Well, you know How's what, that vague? This is, well, you know what I have to say about this story, Angela? And this is uh, honesty. The reality is, is that their kid got caught cheating. And they're not mad about that. And, and they're not mad about it. And even worse, this is my problem. This is why this kid is this way. That's right. Because he tried to circumvent the, the rules, and they're trying to circumvent the rules. So there are, these people don't respect any rules. 
And I just don't understand the argument that it's okay. I have a number of problems. One, you shouldn't be okay with your kid cheating. No. Two, I question why he's in an honors anything. Because sounds to me like homeboy likes to cheat. Yes. <laughs> so I need to review all his grades. Yeah. Number and number three. How you come home and and what you get upset about is oh we're gonna we're gonna sue the school district because our son is an idiot who cheated yeah it, it, to me it's an abuse of the system yeah it's ridiculous it's a waste of everybody's and time it's a waste of time and money and y'all are too dumb to do your own damn homework yeah and maybe you just need to go back to regular old dumb English and not honors English I'm sorry who does, what parent does that them. Well, you know what? It's it's a level of entitlement that I have a problem with. I it's really do. So have a lo- amazing of of saying that you know my kid is doesn't she have, have to, to follow the rules, rules that every other kid does. Yeah. Explain to me what but what is vague about this? If I say Francis, if you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Right. And then you hit me and I hit you back. I feel that was clear. It was very clear. If you say at the beginning and you sign it, yeah. sign a pledge saying I won't cheat and if I don't get thrown out, then later on you're like, I didn't really understand. Yeah. Then you shouldn't be in honors English at all. No, you no. Because <laughs> if you can't understand that sentence. Right. We need to take you a couple steps back. I'm Francis Callier. I'm Angela B. Shelton. We are Frangela. We will be discussing these fools later this week. <laughs> you do just just, just Keep watching so you can see who is a man. Thank you for watching another episode of Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week.